Hmm, I feel like I forgot to do something today. What was it again? Dang it, the plants. I forgot to water them again. Oh no. Run. Hey guys, do you hate when you forget to water your plants? Well, don't worry because I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super simple and beginner friendly automatic watering system with an Arduino and an RTC module. So without further ado, let us get right into it. So here are all the parts that you need to build this project. First things first, you will need an Arduino for this project. Any kind of Arduino work, but I happen to have this Arduino Mega lying around. Next, you'll need an RTC module to keep track of the time. You will also need a breadboard, some wires, a 10K resistor, and a 2.2K resistor. You'll need a power source. Well, in my case, I'm using um these three lithium ion batteries to power the 12 volt pump. And here's the 12 volt pump that I'll be using. Any kind of water pump will work, but I'm using a pneumatic motor because it's super reliable. The only problem is that it's expensive and also really slow as you'll see later in the video. Finally, you'll need a transistor and I'm using an IRF3205 transistor, but any other one will work as long as it's powerful enough to um, power the motor that you're using so you should check the data sheet before um, using a different transistor you will need a diode rectifier and a push button which is optional so let's get the circuit built one eternity later Hey guys, so as you can see here, I've completed a circuit. And at first glance, it might look complicated, but as soon as I explain it, it will become easy to understand. So to understand how the circuit works, you need to know what a transistor is. This right here is a transistor, and it has three pins. It has the gate pin, the drain, and the source. So how a transistor works is it acts as a switch. So when you apply voltage to the gate pin over here, it would form a connection between the source and the drain pin, which is similar to turning the switch on. But as soon as you stop adding voltage to the gate pin, it would, it would break the connection between the source and the drain pin, turning the switch off. So now that you know how a transistor works, let me explain the rest of the circuit for you. So this right here is the RTC module, and it's basically a clock but without a screen. So the RTC module keeps ticking and it keeps track of the time and it sends it to the Arduino. So let's just say we need to water plants at 12 in the morning. So as soon as the time reaches 12 p.m., the RTC module sends the data to the Arduino. And the Arduino recognizes, oh, it's 12 p.m., I need to water the plants. So what it will do is it would send 5 volts from pin number 9 into the gate pin of the transistor which is also connected by 2.2K resistor. So as I said before, as soon as you provide voltage through the gate pin or transistor, it would connect the drain and the source pins, forming a continuous circuit. So what that means is the motor is able to turn on. So how that works is you got positive 12 volts coming through this bus bar of the breadboard and it would, go, it would be fed into this yellow alligator clip and it will go into a motor and then it will come out the green alligator clip and into the uh, drain pin of the transistor. So now that the drain and the source pins are connected, the current will come out this white wire, which is from the source pin, and it will go into negative terminal of the total battery forming continuous circuit. And the motor will be turned on for however long um, you need to water plants for. So now let's just say two minutes has passed and the motor has to be turned off. So what the Arduino does is after two minutes, it would stop sending five volts to pin number nine 
and um, since now the gate pin does not have any voltage coming through it, it would break the connection between the drain and the source pin, which turns off the motor. So there are two more things I need to address about this circuit. So you might be wondering what this is. So this right here is a diode and it is um, there to protect the transistor from the back EMF waves caused by the motor. So what you need to know is a transistor needs to be pointed the right way or else you run the risk of burning out your transistor, which is not good. So as you can see right here, the, the white stripe of, tra of the diode needs to be pointed towards the wire that leads to the motor. So the second thing that added to the circuit is this push button. So what it does is when you press the button, it just waters the plants for you whenever you need it to. So the reason that I added this is because I thought it was convenient. And by the way, it's optional. You don't have to add this part of the circuit. So here's the whole circuit explained. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. So right now, let's move on to the code. Right now, I'm going to do a quick run through of the code. So first of all, you need a library for the RTC, which I have right here. So to get the library, what you got to do is you need to go to the tools tab over here. Click on manage libraries. And once the library manager is all loaded up, all you got to do is type in URTC lib. And once you get a results for your search, you gotta download this library. It says URTC lib and click on install. So now that we got the library set up, now I can explain the rest of the code. So we got two variables right here, uh, which uh, define the connections for the, from the Arduino to the components. So control pin goes into transistor and button pin goes into the button. This wire duration um, variable stores the delay for how long the motor is turned on. So for example, I got 30,000 milliseconds right here, which means that the motor will water the plants for 30 seconds. So right here, I got the variables for the alarms. So this number of alarms variable needs to be adjusted based on the number of alarms set. And I got this array right here containing three alarms. And this one is set for 12.30. This one's set for 2.45. And this one right here is set for 6.30 p.m. And by the way, the RTC, the RTC uses 24-hour format, so keep that in mind. So anyway, in the setup part of the code, I initialize the pins. So I set the control pin as an output because um, the Arduino needs to output 5 volts to a transistor and the button pin as an input because the Arduino can sense when the button is pressed. I also start up the serial to show up the time. I also start up the serial so that the uh, time from the RTC can be displayed in the serial monitor and then begin the RTC. And by the way, this line of code is essential because it sets the it sets the date and time for your RTC. So what you gotta do is you gotta uncomment this part of the code, set the RT set the appropriate date and time for your RTC, and upload it into the Arduino. After uploading into Arduino, you need to comment it out again and then upload it again. This is to make sure that uh, the RTC day date and time does not reset when the Arduino is turned off. So in the loop part of code, uh, it prints the time from the RTC to the serial monitor, which is um, this function right here. And uh, then we got this for loop, which uh, constantly checks the time to see whether um, the time from the RTC matches any of the alarms that we set. And finally, we got this part of the code, which checks if um, the button is pressed and then it waters the plants. And by the way, to water the plant, we have this function right here. And uh, how this works is we set, we send five volts to a transistor. We wait for uh, whatever um, 
duration that we set, which is 30 seconds for this code. And then it turn it stops the 5 volts from uh, coming into a transistor, which turns off the motor. Hey guys, now that I've covered everything about the circuit, let's move on to the demo. So as you can see right here, I got my power supply set up and I have the Arduino running. So let me reset the Arduino just to like show you the demo. Okay, so as you can see, I got the serial monitor set up over here and looks like the clock's ticking down. As soon as the clock hits um, 1230, it should start the motor for 5 seconds. Because that's when I set the alarm at 12.30. Oh, there we go. The motor is started. And the motor goes on for 5 seconds and it stops. Okay, another way to activate um, the plant warning system is to press this push button. So once I press it, the motor starts again. Yep, so this is basically how the circuit works. Nice and simple. This is it. This is the automatic plan warning system that I made. Overall, I think this project turned out to be a success, but there are a few things I would improve upon. For example, um, the power supply for a motor. So since this thing runs on batteries, uh, I have to keep charging them over and over again, and that can get uh, pretty annoying. So maybe if the power supply was from directly from the wall or something, that would be great. Uh, another thing that I found annoying was that the motor was like super, super slow. Because it took like 3 minutes to water the plant sufficiently. So maybe if I replace a motor with like more powerful or like a faster one, then that would, that would be really great. Overall, I think this project turned out to be amazing. So thanks for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next video.